Hey mate, my name's Andrew Eccles and I'm now running wild tours in the land down under. To find out how you can become part of the adventure, follow the link below. Or come visit me at www.andrewuckles.com. So, trying to catch donkeys in the daytime is almost impossible. The reason being is what they'll do is uh, they'll keep just ahead of you and as soon as you start getting close they'll really knock it into the next gear. However, at night time, they don't do that. Right, so the donkeys I'm chasing can reach an average speed of 50 kilometers per hour. Essentially impossible for a human to run down. And as you guys can notice, these guys are just toying with me. Not to mention, they can see us coming literally from a mile away. So you can see, trying to chase donkeys in the daytime, it's not going to work. That animal is stuck in second gear, but as soon as you get closer to him, he hits third gear, then fourth gear, then fifth gear. Then all of a sudden, you've got a furry Ferrari on the landscape. They're almost impossible to get close to. However, today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be teaching you how to catch wild donkeys at night. Donkeys were introduced in the 1860s, during Australia's colonisation period, and were predominantly used as a form of transport. But now, this species has become wild and sparse throughout Australia's interior, and is now declared as a pest animal. It is currently managed by both private and government departments. Alright, Chuch, so this is my car, and if ever you see it in Australia, uh, unfortunately I bought myself a Land Rover, uh, one of the worst mistakes. If you do see my car, Anywhere, whether it be in a car park, uh, in the cinemas, shopping centre, what I want you to do is just go up to it and kick, kick it as hard as you can because I really hate this car. Uh, but it does come to some good purpose, particularly when catching animals at night time. Now, what's very important is, yes, we have a lasso. Lassoes are very important when catching large game. Um, and you can also quite strategic. Um, well, that's not strategic. That one doesn't work. But um, you need spotlights at night time just to see things down the road, essentially, um, because as soon as you get onto things, mate, they're generally off. Uh, but this is going to be the beast that we're going to be in tonight, and hopefully we can get ourselves a donkey. All right, George, if you can hear me, because this car's a bit like a tractor. Now, the strategy in this is, well, there's not much strategy. It's just drive along the road at around about 60 kilometers an hour and keep your eyes peeled. And what you'll notice is donkeys are very, very... Um, what's the word? They're not very wise to cars, um, and it's actually quite easy to get close to them. And well, this is a technique drive between the hours of 9 and 3 in the morning in the middle of the Australian outback, top, top of Catherine, that area. And George, with any luck, we're going to get ourselves a donkey. Church. Although donkeys have great vision at night time, they do become partially impaired when exposed to bright light. And this is what gives me the greatest advantage. You can also notice that they will group together when fleeing. This also helps as they become slower when forming into a single file. Oh, oh you're right. In the chest. You're right. Oh, in the chest. Yeah, I saw, I saw. You're right. <laughs> Just, mate, let me get my right. <laughs> Jesus, mate, I, I heard that. Dude, you right? <laughs> take a breath, take a breath. They're gonna be in this riverbank, you gonna get a Yep, I'll stay on the donkeys. Alright mate. Alright mate. Pull him in. Pull him in close to the tree. He can't get me. 
and grab, and then you go one over. Settle, settle, settle. Let me just get the lesson off now. This is technique. This is technique. This is some <laughs> And church, that's as easy as it is. Look at wild donkeys here in Australia. Okay, now, let me talk a bit about them. What do you hear? Relax, chill out. Now you gotta be careful because I almost fell into a hole back there. And if that would have happened, then essentially if you we both went down, we could have been an asshole. But, oh, if I'm being serious, these guys here are the declared pest in Australia for all animal. We're all driving in 1886 from Africa. Reason being is because Australians need to colonise the landscape. The only animal to do it with were donkeys. Why? Because they could tolerate the harshness of the Australian outback and they could consume a lot of the vegetation in which horses couldn't, including many of the noxious weeds. Now these animals are eradicated in many ways, one of which is the most effective is aerial shooting. Reason being is because they can get into some pretty hard places. The only way to effectively control populations are to shoot them. Now, they're believed to be between four to five million wild donkeys here in Australia. And obviously, chasing them down at night time with a lasso isn't the technique to control populations. Although I'd love to teach all Australians how to do it. But you can just see the technique of being able to chase them down at night time is actually quite easy. In the daytime, I never would have a chance. Even if Usain Bolt and David Rudisha were trying to help me, they're both the fastest men on earth. We still couldn't do it, but at night time, their coordination isn't that great. And that's how you can catch them, only at night time. In the daytime, forget it. Hey guys, you can now find me on all three platforms. Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Now, Chuch, I've also got Yukel's Wild Tours coming out this year, so make sure you check it out.